Now that you're well versed on how to create features from dimensions, I think you'll find that creating features from curves is a very simple task. You'll note that on the, uh, the view screen, you'll see a part that I have with an ellipse. And an, again, from, uh, from your studies, you'll note um, that an ellipse is an, is an oblong circular object. And uh, geometrically, ellipses are uh, relatively difficult uh, to create. However, uh, nonetheless, this is a what we would consider a, you know, a fairly complex curve um, that we've already predefined in FeatureCam. So this is, again, this is a curve that we already have that, that, uh, that is existing on the part area. Now, it's not defined yet whether this curve is a boss or a pocket, but what we want to do is we want to make this particular curve to be a boss and not a pocket. We've already explored pockets in the prior lesson when we created a pocket from a dimension. So now we're going to create a boss from a curve, so a boss feature. So just like we did the last time in the prior video, we're going to click on Features in the Steps menu. And instead of using the Create Features from Dimensions section of the New Feature window, we're going to create a feature from a curve. Over here in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see that particular uh, grouping of radio buttons. So Remember we said we wanted to create a curve from a boss, or in this case here, we want to create a boss from this particular curve. And this is what a boss is. It's kind of like a stub that's on top of, uh, or in, on, the, on a face of the part. So that's referred to as a boss. So we'll click Next. And now we're prompted to identify the curve that we're going to be sol or producing the boss from. So we'll go ahead and select the Pick Curve or Geometry icon, and we will select our ellipse. And note that Curve 1 is now highlighted, and we'll click Next. And now we're prompted to uh, identify the offset from Curve Z location, and uh, we're going to go ahead and just leave that as is. We'll go Next, and it's asking us for a chamfer dimension, a draft angle, and then the height. In this case here, it says uh, the height of our boss is going to be 0.5, and we'll go ahead and leave that as is. We could change that if we want, if we wanted to. And the the bottom radius, there there will be no radius initially in the default, but just for uh, um, for the purposes of, of the demonstration, let's go ahead and change this bottom radius, and uh, we'll make that a quarter inch radius in the bottom corner, um, as you can see here. So we'll go ahead and click next, and now you'll see that our uh, our curve changed and we're sh kind of showing a wireframe diagram of what the part would look like from the top. And uh, yes, of course, we'll go ahead and simulate this when we're complete just to show what the, what, uh, what the machining process would look like and uh, what the final part would, uh, would look like. So from here, um, here's our machining strategies and we'll go ahead and just leave the default selected for the climb milling for the, f for the uh, finer finish, the roughing and the finishing passes and we'll select Finish. Okay, and now we get the Boss Properties window that opens, and again, we have all the different operations that are associated with creating this boss, and the dimensions that are associated with the boss, and uh, the locations from the Locations tab. And you'll note that this is in uh, the, uh, the center of the part. Location is 0, 0, 0. And when we're finished, we can click OK. So let's see what it looks like after it's machined. So let's take a view of the part from the isometric. And now you can kind of see what that boss looks like a little bit better. You can see the radius in the wireframe, but let's go ahead and simulate the machining of this part. So we're going to go ahead and click on the 3D simulation icon. And we'll select play. And you'll note that there's quite a bit of machining that needs to be done here. A lot of material being removed to produce this boss. And again, I've got the, uh, the simulation speed slowed down. And there's our boss feature. So let's go ahead and select the trackball and roll this part around and take a look at it. And you can see what the part looks like when it's machined. So that is creating a feature from a curve. In this case here, we created a boss from an existing curve. And let's reset the view back to the principal view of the top. And remember to eject the simulation to get back to the original view of the part.